What's up, Internet family? It's your boy Larry G back again with another video. And today I'm talking about the thing that I use to put my music out to the world. I'm talking about iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, etc. It's called DistroKid. This is not a sponsored post. I'm not being paid or sponsored or promoted by DistroKid. It's just the way I feel about the product, I've been using it for a while, I just wanted to share my feelings with it. If you want to put your music out to the world, I cannot say it enough. DistroKid, DistroKid, DistroKid. Basically, DistroKid allows you to upload your music to the popular music stores and the not so popular music stores. I'm talking iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Store, Tidal, anything youtube it it uploads it everywhere and you only pay a yearly fee and it's unlimited uploads now if you're coming from a place of cd baby or louder or i don't remember what the other thing was called but something else they charge you per upload or per project this allows you to upload as many songs or as many projects as you want in a year under that one fee. Also, the best part, you keep 100% of your royalties. They don't take any royalties off top. All you do is pay that one fee for the year and that's it. Also, if you're in the business of uh, performing covers or you want to put your covers on iTunes and Spotify out to the world that way, you can also do that, but they charge you. And the best part about doing that is they find all of the licensors for you. They do that whole process for you and you simply pay per song. You pay a percentage to sell that song because someone else wrote it and produced it and all, that, all those other things that musicians in the business side of music like to talk about. Before using DistroKid, my friend John and I would just put our music out the normal way through SoundCloud or through YouTube videos or Facebook or MySpace back in the day. But DistroKid has allowed us to step our game up and go to a new level and we've actually turned a profit this year on the investment that we made in DistroKid. And that's the first year that we've been able to do this successfully. We currently have the second stage of the membership which allows two artists myself and my friend John to work on music and put out music to the world and we both made money from music this year. John sold uh, a couple albums and several singles but a lot of the money that we make comes from streams as the world is going toward a more stream focused music listening experience. So having music in those places allows us to make money when people want to easily access that music on Apple Music or Spotify or if they use Amazon or Google Play or what have you. Having music in those spaces where people are allowing them that easy access allows us to expose our music to as much people as possible which in turn helps us make money from it. I just want to say that we've been using DistroKid for two years. I mean we found it at the end of 2015 and 2016 was when we really started using it a little bit more but I can honestly say that we love the product, we love everything about it. 2017 will be the year that we really put it to the test because we're both working on projects. I'm working on several projects that I plan on releasing through DistroKid and I just wanna say 10 out of 10 would recommend again. I love the product. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Tell me your experience with DistroKid or CD Baby or however you put your music out into the world. I'm really interested in learning how you guys do that. As a musician and my friend John, as musicians and as uh, label owners, we're really interested in how people do that, especially independent artists. So if you have feedback or conversation, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you're on Facebook, don't forget to like my page. If you would like to support me on Patreon, you can do that. The link is down below. As always, thank you for watching once again. My name is Larry G, and you can believe that.